Hi Blender fans and welcome to Blender TC. In today's tutorial we're going to be making a mushroom. This mushroom is a organic mushroom and let's begin. In today's tutorial we're going to be using the cube. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go, you've got point select, line select and face select and we're going to be doing this in modeling. So hit the modeling tab up here and we're going to be using the tab key a lot so the tab key takes you in and out of object mode and into edit mode if you press it again so we're going to be going to edit mode select face select select the top face G and C to move it up and we're going to scale that down to a bit of a point with our mouse then what I'm going to do is control and R and we add a loop cut left will fix it and then you can actually move it down to the base and another click on the left mouse button will fix it completely then control and R I'm going to put another loop cut in there and one just underneath it so control and R and just move it up with your mouse so it's about there what I've got now is I'm going to actually select the upper loop cut, select it and then press the S key and scale it so I get the basic mushroom shape. I'm then going to select the line on the bottom, hold the, left, uh, hold the alt key down and left click and that will actually select the line all the way around and G and Z to move it up and scale it down slightly I also want to loop cut under the base of here because I want a quite a sharp shape so I'm going to put another loop cut in there with control and R and press control and R again and I'm going to put a loop cut on that edge and one above it as well Then one more loop cut in the center, left click twice, and then S to scale it up. So I get the basic mushroom shape. So I've now got my mushroom. Press the tab key to take it out of edit mode. And I'm going to add a modifier by hitting the little span area or wrench. And then add a modifier. And we're going to add the subdivision modifier or subsurface modifier. Sorry. So hit it once and I'm going to put this up to three because for this tutorial I want quite a lot of geometry and then right click just to smooth our model so we've now got the basic mushroom shape or toadstool whatever you want to call it control and R to actually put a loop cut there I'm going to put another loop cut underneath it one above it you could actually use the bevel modifier to actually achieve the same effect but I'm just going to do that because it's just as quick Alt, press the alt key and left select and just scale this up just to put a little like bump in there and G and Z just to move it down because I'm wanting to achieve the little skirt that some mushrooms have and I'm putting one loop cut in there just to actually sharpen that line so now I've got my basic mushroom shape I'm just going to take this point and move it down GG just to move it down to get more of a mushroom shape that I like and that's it we've done the mushroom so the mushroom is about finished but it looks too uniform it's not very organic looking and it's quite boring so what we're going to do is we're going to add the lattice modifier so select add go all the way down it's just found just under armature here and it's in the second section so we just hit this lattice modifier the lattice is now underneath here so I'm just going to S to scale this lattice until it's up to about there Right, the lattice has got a simple resolution at the minute and what we want to do is increase this resolution and it's entirely up to you what you actually change this number to 
So what I did there, I went to this little grid which is the lattice control and I increased this to 4 on everything. So I've now got my lattice. As you can see, if we move our lattice by going to edit mode, G, as you can see, it does nothing to our mushroom. Control C, that's because it's not been attached to it yet. So back out of edit mode by pressing the tab key, select our mushroom. There's two ways you can do this, but I'm just going to show you one because the other one's a key hit. So at the minute, what we're going to do is select the mushroom and then we are going to add a modifier and the modifier we're going to add to it is called the lattice modifier. So select add modifier and then select lattice. Once you've done that, you can now in the object of the lattice, select this and select the lattice. This now, if we go select the lattice and go back into edit mode, will us allow us to actually change the actual shape of our mushroom. So just select that edge, G, and as you can see, I'm just moving these little lines around and it changes the actual shape of the actual lattice. If I do box select by holding the left mouse button down and making this grid go around them, I can just move this down or rotate it or scale and just basically we can actually manipulate these points just to G and move I'm just going to move that down to there I think I want that skirt to dip slightly on that side and I'm going to make it go slightly up on the other side like so um, there we have it, we've getting, you're getting the idea, we're getting an organic type of shape. But the other beauty about this um, thing is that, gee, once you've created the lattice, what you can do is, we've now created our lattice, I'm just going to select the mushroom, apply the actual modifier up here, in we're using 2.9 and there used to be a button here that said apply but now it's just under this this little arrow so I'm just gonna hit the apply so now we've got the actual subdivision modifier but if we actually take the mushroom out of the modifier G and Y I'll just take it out as you can see it changes back into our normal mushroom G and Y move it back into the modifier and it becomes more organic and has a better shape this means of course that what you can do is you can sh shift and D duplicate this move it over there and if we were to move as mushroom G and X as you can see we've now got a different slightly different shape mushroom from that one and scale it down as you can see we've now got rotate the lattice so we've now achieved two different looking mushrooms but we're still only using the same thing this is very handy for if you're making a scene that needs you to you know make a scene with you could have hundreds of mushrooms here and you could have a tree in the background or anything like that simply speaking that is the actual uh, modifier used there's a few other little bits what you've got up here you've got uh, different modes so you've got set new section you've got add to mode so if I went into edit mode up here and you went to add as you can see it just adds different ones to it subtract does the same thing anything you select it subtracts up here that just um, inverts the selection so if we hit that button anything that's selected will deselect and it'll do the opposite way around as you can see anything that it's just swapping them around and the last one 
just deselects. Well, that's it. That's uh, the lattice modifier. Just explained. I use this for organics, and it's really handy for changing plants quickly. Have fun using the lattice modifier. Thank you for watching Blender TC. Please subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment or ring that bell. This is Blender TC signing off. Have fun with Blender.